Ollie, it feels like a stupid question, but um, how are you feeling after that? Well, I mean, it's bittersweet, really. I mean, for myself, not getting over the line is obviously really disappointing, but on a personal level, I'm pretty happy with the way I played, but just a shame I couldn't get over the line. Yeah, I guess that's absolutely right. Uh, I mean, let's talk about your innings. Um, you came out with uh, the scoreboard reading 109 for five. That soon became 141 for, for eight. Um, was it a case of, you know, you weren't going to die wondering? No, not a case. Of, I always had the intent of that we were going to win the game. I mean, I know Archie's a capable batter as, as, well, as well as Henry Croker and stuff. I felt like building little partnerships with people who I was batting with and then finding plans and ways to hit the ball to the boundary and ticking over at the same time is really important. Uh, talking about Archie, you know, uh, what were you guys talking about um, during your partnership out there? I mean, um, it seemed even at one stage that Archie had some advice for you coming yeah. down to, to have a chat. Yeah. We were just constantly looking at the scoreboard, seeing what we needed to do, because it felt like our innings kind of, we needed to keep on hitting it, but by the end of our partnership, we were down at five and a half, so it was really a case of getting those runs early and then ticking over, so, yeah. Um, was there a part of you um, that sort of had the, the memory of Sedba, thinking this is your chance to sort of do the reverse? A little bit, mm. but I didn't really have that in mind. But it would have been lovely to go over the line on Lancashire did at Sebba, but it just wasn't the day for us today. Um, and uh, I, I guess looking forward, obviously now huge disappointment, but this young side once again, you know, showing that they're well in for the fight and they're coming up against teams who perhaps haven't lost as many as experienced players, don't have as many guys playing their first seasons and, and, and giving them a real scare. Yeah, I mean, it's really exciting, for, for, especially for me to look at playing with people who have played within the age group stuff and growing up playing kids cricket with is brilliant to see that we're doing it at the top level as well and you can't fault anyone's fight today. I thought it was impeccable in the field and all the youngsters were immense today. Uh, a word for, for Ben Brown who's come back into the team. Um, it's got a sort of typical Ben Brown 50 there, running hard, picking the gaps and then and then punching the, the bad balls through the, through the ring as well. Yeah. I mean, it's great to watch Brownie. I mean, the way he played is a great way to play in terms of manipulating fields, picking up ones and twos, one, running really hard. It's a typical Brownie knock, and it was really great to watch. And I guess today, as well as, as Seba, just great adverts for the 50 over game. I know there's a lot of attention elsewhere in the game at the moment, but some great games of cricket being played. Yeah, absolutely. Close games are the best game. No one likes games which are just too far, get too far away from one side. So being really really competing at the highest level, taking it right down to the second to last over in two of our games so far is brilliant. And games where one side looks out of it and then suddenly they're, you know, they're right back in it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we were in a pretty similar position as Lancashire were in Sedba, but just couldn't quite get over the line. But still a massive effort from the boys and all credit to Gloucestershire for what they bowled and batted really nicely today. Finally, a word for the um, for the spectators here. Massive frustration all season with this weather. Finally got a full game in today and, and they clearly loved it. Uh, how special was their reaction to your innings? Oh, it's great to see the crowd up and running, especially with a few mates in the crowd. It's brilliant to put performance in in front of them and give them what they deserved and missed because of the rain and last year because of COVID. So it's brilliant for them to be back and enjoying cricket again. I know it wasn't the end result we all wanted, but well batted and uh, you gave everyone a, a good day out. Thanks, sir.